Hey guys, it's Tesla here, back with another tutorial. Now, there's an Unreal Engine user called Gregdum, and he has created a time of day tutorial for the Unreal Engine wiki. And it was something I was looking into, so I got in touch with him and asked if he would mind if I did a video version of his tutorial, and he was very happy about that. So make sure you check the video description for the wiki link to this tutorial. So let's jump right in. In our top right we have our scene outliner, we'll scroll down and you'll find a directional light stationary and a sky sphere. And our directional light stationary is basically our sun, so I'm going to rename this to sun. Let's right click, edit, and rename. Or we can just press F2. And I'm going to just type sun now. Now the first thing we want to do is change this mobility from stationary to movable. And now we're going to build our lighting. So we'll drop this down and click build lighting only. Now this isn't going to take very long because I've got a, quite a small level right here. It's just the a starter template, first person starter template. Now we're ready to jump in our level blueprint, so we'll click blueprints, open level blueprint, and we'll start by right clicking, add event, event tick. So this is going to fire every frame. And now we want to create a new variable, so we'll click new variable, and let's call this sun speed. And this is going to control how, how fast our sun is going to rotate around our world. We'll change the variable type from ball to float. We'll scroll down here and we'll click compile actually. And we can change this value from 0 to 30. I'm going to choose 30 because I'm following Greg Dunn's tutorial in the wiki. We'll click get and let's drag this one out. And we want to type float star. So these are, this is going to multiply together two float values and you can see because this is green the delta seconds here is a float value as well so we'll put those two there and now we're going to drag this one out and type make rot for make rotation and now we're going to click our sun on our scene outliner we're going to drag this in here and we are going to drag this out and we're going to write actor local rotation and you can see these values are the same type so we'll connect these and we're going to drag in our sky sphere now we're going to move this down here we'll drag this one out and we'll type in update sun direction. Connect all these guys together and these guys together. We'll click compile and now when I jump in my world our sun is going to rotate very quickly around our world. Such as this. As you see, it's changing our shadows real time. So, we could do something else with this. We can make it go a lot slower by going back into the level blueprint and going to our sun speed, and we can change this down to, you know, maybe we want it, we want it to be really slow, so we can type 0 0.05. And that's going to move really, 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 really slowly. So we can make a real-time system out of this. And we can also take all of these guys out and we can just change this pitch right here to let's say 30. And we're going to drag this one out here and put any key you want. I'm going to use G. Let's compile. So every time I press G it's updating our sun position. So maybe you want to use an event start node and we can set the starting position of our sun using that rotation value. And one last thing, we can come to our sky sphere right here and we can, you know, we can change our clouds opacity, cloud speed, the sun brightness. We have all these settings we can change to customize our world and we can click refresh material 
if you find some stuff isn't updating properly. Okay guys, that's about it for this tutorial. Make sure you check out Greg Dumb's wiki link. Cheers guys.